So here's here's ready for to see a train wreck of a game. Oh, this is gonna be good. So what's up, dudes? Welcome to the demo of Dragon Ball Raging Blast, which frankly could probably not have been taken down from the PlayStation Store sooner. In all honesty, this game is fucking atrocious. Ah. Now I haven't played all of them, but from what I've seen so far, this is probably the worst game to come out. of. Nah, actually that's true. I was. Nah, I think all the Tenkaichi is worse than this, actually. But this is definitely, like, probably one of the worst Dragon Ball Z games we've ever gotten to date. Easily. I mean, look how many fucking developers went into this game. Holy shit. And what I'm told, allegedly, the guys who made BT3 made, went into this. I'm like, I don't, I don't see it. Nah, it, it just... It can't be. This, this game is so fucking bad, it doesn't even count. But anyway, this... I'm not talking about the game itself right now. I'm talking about the demo. And the demo itself... Is still pretty stilted. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, shit, I don't even know if this thing comes with multiplayer or not. But anyway, so this is the this is uh ver this is the demo. Nope, nope, nope. You can't even select options in this fucking demo. Nope, nope, nope. Only versus. That's all you get. And the best part is only starting out with four characters too. So of course, well, three characters and one transformation, which is Super Saiyan Goku. Which thank God it's at least in there. Seriously, this is just so fucking stilted. It's ridiculous. Select, select. <laughs> Get random, yeah. You're gonna have a pretty good chance of getting someone you like. All right, so naturally, because well, he's my favorite character amongst his bunch, I'm just gonna immediately jump right for Goku. Eh, he's at least got two costumes. One being his default. One being I'm not sure which outfit that is. It might be from when he fought Namek. I'm pretty sure actually. And because he's actually fun to fight, but glow. So again, I don't. I highly doubt this is actually multiplayer. Which for a fighting game, did not have. Multiplayer in a demo. That's pretty. That's pretty wrong. I want to say that's just horrible. But anyway, now I get to show you guys a preview of the horrors to come with Dragon Ball Raging Blast Let's Play, which is gonna take for fucking ever. God. All right, so maybe I should start explaining why this game is so bad in my book. All right, first of all, let's just get this out of the way. The graphics in this game are fucking beautiful. My God. I just don't understand why the only song we have in this demo is an instrumental version of the intro theme which I always thought was subpar at best I don't know I just I'm never really a big fan of Dragon Ball intro movie intro songs besides like the Budokai series and Tenkaichi and that's it everything after that has just been really lame so the big problem with this game as you probably if you know anything about Dragon Ball Z games you probably know it's the fucking gameplay this game is so fucking stilted with what I can do Alright, so you can see right now I'm running around the apartment pretty fine. I have alright control. The first problem comes in the fact that you can't like you can't move in a diagonal fashion when you're going up and down. That's a big problem. I mean you could like hop. But under that you're not going any di out of diagonal direction, so it's kinda like old school Pokemon in that regard. It's really weird. You you would think that at least have diagonal movement for flight, which is very big. Yeah, yeah. Also, I'm just so used to playing Raging Blast 2, which is such a much, much better game, despite this gameplay still being pretty stiff. Ugh, man. Alright, so let's start actually showing off some of Goku. He's got Command Man Wave, it's a default, which, eh, it's actually, it's chargeable. Although, the charge bothers me, I don't know why. It just, it either feels like it charges way too slowly, or it, it just never does enough damage. Yeah, sadly, especially if you can't be able to collide. Oh, and Piccolo, especially if can, is now relegated to a normal move, and it's all charged, so that's going to be really annoying. Anyway, so, I have uh, I have the default KO can finish, which, eh. Sometimes I wish they could, like, combine a KO can attack and a KO can finish, or, like, give the default option to choose between one or the other. I always wish that. That would be cool. Bam. There we go. Which, by the way, this game has a tendency to pronounce Kaioken with both pronunciations, Kaioken and Kaioken. Which, is very weird. I've never really heard of that before outside of, well, the only other works I can think of that are like that. Oh shit. Actually, I want to get some distance on it because Goat Pickle is about to die. Uh, dude, where'd you come from? Shit. Alright, so you can stack Kaioken on top of Kaiokens up to times three, which is pretty cool. I, we haven't really had that since, um... BT3, where it's stackable like an infinite amount of times. That's always fun. Actually, I do want to show it off. Before Piccolo bites the dust, that should not hit me. 
I don't really start this match. Okay, cool. You do actually have that. I'm not gonna bother with Zolar Flare. You already know what that is. It's still kind of useless here, too. Ah. Yeah, so like the first time you fire off the Kaioken, he says Kaioken. But then the second time you do it, he says Kaioken. And then Kaioken times three, that's how he pronounces it. It's just very weird. Then again, there are quite a few instances in these games where <laughs> uh, they are just. It's so blatant that they were just so lazy with the uh, English dubbing, it's not even funny. So I kind of ate there, but that was. <laughs> loser. What loser? There's no loser there. Oh, sure, when you lose, that just give you a retry option. Just boot you right back to the previous screen. That's wonderful. Oh, uh, boy. Well, I'm not going to try to justify that. That was me being a dumbass. And, uh, frankly, <laughs> the only time I was really good at Raging Blast is when I originally owned the game before. I sold it off to get, uh, what did I sell off for? I think it had to have been Tekken Tag Tournament 2. Yeah, had to have been that. Well, at least I could show off Goku's other off. And I can go to Super Saiyan now. Hopefully, I won't kill Piccolo too fast because, well, Super Saiyan's kind of awesome. I think it went Super Saiyan awesome, really. Ugh. I don't think I need to mention how long it takes to get into games too. Even though this is on my hard drive, it still takes this long. It should be like, boom, done. No. Ah, this long screen somewhere. All right, just jump right into it. Get it back up. Yeah, I already the Kaoken off, so I'm just gonna show off Spirit Bomb. They can go over to Super Saiyan. Which, by the way, there is a cool, a cool graphical effect in this game though. When two characters are charging energy at the same time, it didn't do it there for some whatever reason. Whoa, that's a cool setup. <laughs> that was actually not bad. He just dashed right on me when he was close range. Right? He actually did his ultimate. That's kind of cool. Oh, God. Why am I so controlled right now? I was, I was just practicing this game. Man, I'm picturing myself playing a better game. I don't know. What the fuck? Really? That went right through my spirit bomb? Oh, God. That is terrible. Charge again. God, Pickles is like, as aggressive, but Raz is a complete shit. Like, no joke. His just is like comatose. Alright, come on. Cross him up. Cross him up. Got it. Cancel the triangle. Cancel the spirit bomb. Which the triangle cancels, but, well, what is it like? Some moves can cancel other moves for like extended combo, which never really made a lot of sense to begin with. Alright, two percent time. Which, to be fair, Super Saiyan transformations and transformations in general look pretty awesome in this game. Oh man, that slowdown. There <laughs> should have just been any slowdown there. Alright. Charge command, man, which, yeah, that's fine. Get a little close. Oh god, how the fuck did you hit me out of that? Okay. So, I think we just go center. Alright. Since you're not going to make the first move, I'll just do it myself. Alright, other moves he has, uh, that's basically like a melee increase. I don't want to do it because, well, I'm kind of full on melee attack right now. Actually, no, it's not true. I could probably do it. Do it here. Wild Sense, which you can get what Wild Sense does. Now for Angler Commandment, I love the camera's pan it does on it, but he still says, um, he doesn't, he doesn't have the U full line. If he had the, the U full line there, as opposed to Raging Blast 2, that'd be the best version of it, hands down. That's well, probably one of the best moves of the game, also, but that's just me. Also, I think this is the first game where Angry Command Man is now yellow instead of blue, which, eh, minor detail, but it's still kind of cool. I like it when game devs actually pay attention to their solar material, but unfortunately uh, lose what they're trying to build, which is the gameplay engine, you know. Ah, <sighs> so bad. If there's only one year to went into this develop, development game, which I hope there's not, I hope there's like maybe two, then they put out a shitload of content here, but unfortunately they lost the thing that made it good, the gameplay. Which, you know, granted, you shouldn't, you should have that in there. Alright, let's show off Raditz, who I don't really want to play as Raditz, even though, well, I guess I show off his ultimate. It's pretty nice to look at, actually. Eh, Piccolo is, as usual, probably one of the best characters in the game, but honestly, one is Piccolo not either broken or really, really good. He's right. He's like in the same league as Broly. I don't think there's ever been a bad iteration of a playable Broly in a DBZ game, ever. 
He was a little subpar in BT2, but BT3, he was up there. Super armor. That's all you need. Apparently. Alright, so as you saw earlier, he has... Luckily, no, I don't... Wait, that's his up? That's weird. Also new to this game, wherever you fire off a super attack, you can press with, like, a uh, certain input and it'll automatically boost it. Which, you know, if you're... Since they're so small, the input commands, it doesn't even matter. Alright, Shashi came in on the right, which looks pretty good. I, I love how fast it is. That's what I really like. All out? Yeah, cool. I don't know if that's a power-up effect that you use for... Ooh, cool. I'm not sure if that, that's a power-up effect you use against either Cell or Android 17. I'm not, I'm not sure. That just seems like a... Anyway, that uh, that's actually not him down power. That's actually his signature attack, which... Kind of a dick move. Where'd all my energy go? Where's all my energy? Ugh. I have a lot of practicing to do before I get to let's play of this. Alright, now for the left. Kaiokosen actually got an English translation. Hmm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? I couldn't even begin to guess. Anyway, unfortunately, it's a, unlike Raging Blast 2, there's no Raging Soul here, which made it really cool. But it's still got default. <laughs> this move. Oh my god, this fucking move. The one he used against Imperfect Cell when he was trying to absorb Android 17. Ugh, love it so much. I draw throws, but honestly, throws. As well as the bars me are next to useless because they have like no range. And they're so slow coming out. Ah, man. Which is like, dude, I love my throws in fighting games because they're like so abusable. Come in, why don't you come down here and say that in my face, fucker? They don't even track. Ugh. Oh, wait, I can throw him out of that, though. Cool. Nah, I suppose that counts or something. Maybe. Or maybe I'm just stronger than I realized. Or maybe both. You don't know that. So, that's Goku, Piccolo down. Now, time for Raditz. The only other playable character in this game, which, man. <laughs> Actually, I would, before this, I always thought Raging Blast, in all honesty, I always thought Raging Blast 1 and 2 were kind of the same, but in terms of gameplay, except for the combos. Outside of the combos, I always thought they were like relatively the same, no real differences. But after playing this, I realized just how stilted this game is compared to that. My god. Uh, why couldn't they make a Raging Blast 3 and make it just so good? I mean, the groundwork was laid out like perfectly. They could have made a really good game out of Raging Blast 3. But now they had to jump ship and go to. Oh, let's make all the 10 kaiju. Oh, wait, that didn't sell well. Oh, let's make it for the connect. Oh, that didn't work. Let's just import another mechanic used from the heart. Uh, using our arcade games in Japan. Why not? Nope, it's not like the 3D Dragon Ball Z fighting games are selling anymore. Ha oh, ha, oh, no. <sighs> yeah. Which, it still shocks me to this day. Ultimate Tenkaichi actually sold half decently well. As opposed to these games. Never understand that. So, I have no idea how Raditz plays. The only thing I do know about him is that he's got all right super attacks. That's about it. Let's see what his up is. Eh, kinda cool. I wonder if it has a spark trail on it from Tank Age of 3, actually. Oh, it's going right to Super Saiyan. <laughs> okay. Still probably the best part of this game, the graphics. Eh, it looked alright. I mean, not exceptional, but hey, it's. Ow. Hits done game too strong. <laughs> I, could, I could just keep holding guard and I'll be totally fine. Nice. Okay, that guarded. Hmm. What the? That doesn't entirely cut the background. That's weird. Okay, for something like that, I would expect to do more damage, but apparently not. Sand Spirit. Eh. Hey, at least it's not dropping my fucking key, which it seems like every power up in this game does that. I don't understand why that needs to be a thing. Alright, let's see what the left is. Yeah, that seems kind of cool. Uh, I actually want to back up a little bit. Damn it, Goku. Ah, oh, my god, that was lame. Damn it, Goku, get out of here. Oh my god, there was a useless in this game. Alright, now I really gotta get out of here. It's probably gonna fall suit right immediately, but it's gonna give me just the lead I need in order to go and do it. 
Nope. Here we go. Probably one of the best moves of the game, actually. Unfortunately, I couldn't really show why, because it the fire off sequence is so fucking pretty, my god. It's got like white and black sparks flying all around it. That's really cool. Nice particle you nice use of particle effects. Which this game does do pretty well, I'm not gonna lie. The graphics in this game, despite being a little bland at times, are this is probably really, really fucking good. This is probably the best representation we've had to DBZ game graphics wise in like ever. Besides what yeah, I too? We got two had some really good graphics except for Super Saiyan 3 Air. But that's about it for the demo. It sucks. It <laughs> My god, Battle Battle Z was so extensive, it was really good, and even as a demo, you could still get a good good amount of enjoyment out of it. Raging Blast 2, four characters, but each they handled so well, it doesn't even matter. This game, nope. Uh, I just love how it's blue balling you with the main menu. It's like, hey, hey, I can have all this shit, but only in the real game, which, you know. I don't really appreciate being blue balled in a demo. That's just not my style, but that's the demo. Eh, score 3.5. I mean, it does have some key characters like Piccolo and Goku, but considering it's them Raditz. Why Raditz? <laughs> why would why would you need him? I mean, it could have been like I don't know, Scatter Vegeta, so he can have a really cool moveset. And, you know, show off Genocide Breaker, show off his final Gallic Gun. That'd be so fucking cool. Gallic Cannon in this game? Oh yeah, that'd be nice. But everything else, it's just there's nothing here. You only have one stage, as opposed to Raging Blast Two's um, two, which is fantastic. But you came in. There's nothing here. You're not getting anything out of this. Like even as a novelty, there's no demo here. So that's enough of my ranting. I'm gonna leave it there. Oh my god, let's play. This is gonna suck dick. But that's not gonna be for me like another year. Between Brandon, Rob, and I, we have so many other good games to cover before we get to this, but uh, that'll be in the future. So, guys, hope you enjoyed the demo. I did not, then I'll see you later.